right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode one of Dharma Daddies. I am your host, Wyatt, a.k.a. the president of Dharma, mm. a.k.a. the father of Dharma, mm. a.k.a. a Dharma daddy. Mm. So mm-hmm. the whole concept behind Dharma Daddies is we're a father to this company. And so now we're going to take everybody on a journey, how we're going to raise it and the things we're going to do, right? It, it, it's right. just come out of the hospital. You, it's still screaming. Like, it's sleeping a little bit right now. <laughs> He's kicking and screaming. It, dude, it is going to scream in the middle of the night, and we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. I'm pretty oh, excited. I'm nervous. And I got I got two single dads over here. One's, leave, <laughs> one's leaving next week to go back to, like, California or whatever. One works on a boat. So, first of all, this is Skip, and this is Danny. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. What's that, man? All right, um, I am uh, Skip Webster. I'm uh, a big doofus who's really good at moving some weight and driving boats. Uh, but as far as me and Wyatt, we started dating about uh, six months ago, November. Yeah, whenever you put a ring on it, man. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> 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 mm. now nah, we've uh, we met uh, where Wyatt still kind of works, I guess, where he met Danny, and um, we just. You know, we both were called Skip our whole lives for no good reason. Yeah, so my, my nickname from my family is Skippy. And mm. so he thought I was somebody else when he walked into our store. And he was like, what's up, man? Skip. And I'm like, what? I'm like, there's no Who way. Who are you? I'm like, there's no way your name is Skip because like, everybody I grew up being called Skippy. And he was like, you're Austin, right? I'm like, no, I'm Wyatt. But like, is your name really Skip? Because people call me Skippy. And so we kind of like became bros like right after that. Yeah, and then we, uh, we took a really, really... Uh, promiscuous picture on uh, one of my bikes and worked out together <laughs> and did a stupid YouTube video. It was meant to be. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that picture went hard. And, uh, yeah, so I, I'm here uh, six months out of the year. I spend most of it with Wyatt now. and we. Uh, what do you do the other six months? I work on an oil tanker. Um, so I'm a navigational officer. Uh, I'm called a third mate. And um, we're not at sea. We're in port. For however long my watch is at that point in the day, I oversee the transfer of our cargo, whether we're loading or discharging. So it's like a glorified gas station attendant if I had to. <laughs> it's like you go from glorified truck driver, it's just a floating bomb version of it, mm. to a glorified gas station attendant. <laughs> hey, and you're going like, what, like six months out of the year? Yeah, so I do like 75 days on. 75 days off it varies a little bit i am literally about to be a single dad <laughs> <laughs> to a single business i'll send a check home <laughs> a little child support yeah. <laughs> i don't mind that all right danny uh my name is daniel lynch everybody i am uh and a newfound entrepreneur i found entrepreneurship maybe two three years ago maybe a little bit actually it's been a while now i said four years ago really Um, and really just fell in love with business, fell in love with the idea of you literally have to sell yourself in life and and not in a weird, shady way, but just like everything you do as a human, you connect with other people, and the more that you can get other people to believe in your vision or your idea, ultimately you'll end up not only inspiring people to do what they love, finding their purpose, but more importantly, giving uh, people just an access or an avenue or something to do that they love, and so... Uh, I'm in solar sales right now, and so residential panels for everybody uh, listening. And so basically, I just realized that every sale is the same. It's all just based on the individual. And so just learn yourself and get to know people and surround yourself with people that you enjoy spending time with. And then ultimately, you will find your dharma. And so if you don't mind saying, like, what, like, quite frankly, excuse my friends, what the hell is dharma? (laughs) Yeah, so Dharma, so kind of backstory behind Dharma is uh, a couple months back, I kind of went through a, not a super dark time, it's not like I was addicted to drugs or selling ass on the corner, right? <laughs> but like, I was going through a tough time, I nearly graduated college, I thought I wanted to do something in the criminal justice field, and I was like, man, all this stuff going on, I was like, oh, I really don't want to be doing this you, right now. You went through a very, uh, I would say, efficient and effective depression. Yeah, I grew a lot. I knew, like, like <laughs> when you watch enough, like, David Goggins uh, videos, you yeah. learn uh, you learn the hard You ain't shit. Yeah. Get hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, <laughs> basically, so I kind of went through, like, a tough time, not really, like, realizing what I really want to do. And that's when, like, I walked into stealth and realized entrepreneurship, mm. sales, there's no cap on my income, all that stuff. I was like, all right, this is something to do for now. Let's keep doing it. And I kept doing that, doing that, kind of got complacent. I was like, all right, something's got to change. I need to mix something up. I need to do something bigger. I need to, like... Either go go home, like go big or go home, right? But you have to. And so I was like, you know what? I'm passionate about fitness. One day I've always dreamed of 
starting my own clothing company. Why not now? Because as, as Danny likes to say, anything worth doing is worth no, doing no, no, right no, no, no. now. Give him the real Daniel Lynch quote. Yeah, let's hear it. So anything everybody in life talks about how they're going to do great things when? Tomorrow. Right. And so, dude, I would love to go to the gym, but, like, you know what's going on today, and you know this and that. And so uh, I actually learned it from my father, but, like, if anything's – if you're ever emotionally to the point to where you're, like – okay, I'm really going to make a change this time. Then it's like, it's worth doing now. And if you ever put it off, oh my God, I realized I'm overweight and I need to go to the gym. Period, period, period. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. It's just like, okay, well, like ultimately, like statistically speaking, you're going to be in the same spot. So that's why I was saying, if there's anything in life doing at all, in my opinion, my father's opinion, maybe yours, maybe not, but it's worth doing now. And so just taking the time to invest your, your, actual human energy into something uh that's where it gets special that's where you can find your passion find your purpose i think that's what why it's kind of found yeah. pretty quickly with dharma yeah so like to continue like how dharma got founded so i went through all that stuff and i picked up this book from uh, one of these uh rappers or not rappers but musicians i like to listen to it's a book called the seven spiritual laws of success which we all read this week to kind of prepare for this and just so they can get more versed on what the law of dharma is well the law of dharma is actually the seventh chapter of the book so it's the last law of success basically it states that like everybody is born on this earth for a reason and you go through life trying to figure out what your purpose is whether you grow up wanting to be a cop and you manifest that in becoming a cop firefighter lawyer doctor whatever you want to be in life you kind of essentially manifest it through your thoughts but you have to carry that out through your actions and i've gotten scary good at carrying out my actions recently I must say, we. <laughs> I, 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 Is this a good segue for how we started doing a podcast too? Yeah, so we're gonna segue into that. So I literally read the book and I was like, oh my god, the law of dharma, like your purpose in life, manifestation, trying to figure out what you're like. You're born for a reason. What what is that reason? Like you go through life trying to figure that out. And I was like, boom, that's my that's my clothing company. And I was like, okay, let's start it. So a few days later, got the LLC. A week goes by, I got some product in, started selling a little bit of product here and there. And then we're not even, I made a month yesterday of having the LLC. Mm. Yeah. And so. Congrats. I appreciate awesome, that. Buddy. And then we were at the beach, what, a week and a half ago? Yeah. I'll let you tell the story. So we're at the beach with uh, Danny and his wonderful uh, girlfriend, Autumn. And they set up a little uh, Destin trip. So we went and got an Airbnb, had a good time. It was like two days uh, or three days, two nights, whatever. So on the last night we're there. Uh, everyone, we, we got sloshed, and we try to be about health and fitness, but there's a balance to life, and uh, we got we got sloshed. You know, we were respectful. We didn't do anything stupid. So it's me and uh, Wyatt at the end of the evening, and what were you watching? Like Tom Segura, Joe Rogan. It was probably Joe Rogan. Probably Tom Joe Segura, Rogan, just... which, you know, obviously, who doesn't want to be having a podcast like that? But anyways, we're sitting there, we're bullshitting back and forth, and we're like, dude, we need to do a podcast. So it's like two in the morning. We went and got Whataburger. <laughs> no, we, really we, nice. We got. Whatab- I wasn't we, a part of this, by the way. Yeah, he was. He was slumpy. Slump. And, he was, and burnt like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> we'll get into that. No, no second. literally. You have no he's, idea. He's, he's still peeling, actually. So uh, yeah, and then, uh, we went and got that. We're like, dude, we no, we no, no. We're gonna do a podcast. We're gonna get like equipment tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So we went and like watched some YouTube videos and like googled like. How do you do a podcast? You know, <laughs> uh, on today's episode of How Messed Up. <laughs> like, we seriously went through all that. And um, a week and a half later, I, I got the mics and stuff in Sunday. Um, Danny was gracious enough to bring an extra mic and uh, the mixing board. And then we had our buddy, uh, Jason Toulier, who showed us how to use Logic Pro in like two minutes. And now we're here <laughs> recording. <laughs> yeah. So. That's what they do is right away. Dude, yeah, yeah. Exa- exa- like, dude, we've like we've all gotten scary good at like, hey, if we're gonna do something, we'll do it right now. Yeah, I, like, I met a guy who was like, you could start your own business while you're home. I was like, <gasps> why is that? Why didn't I notice? Like, I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got MD Marine LLC, which is my little side hustle that I do with boat stuff while I'm home. And then Wyatt was like, you know what? Psh, I'm gonna do a clothing line in a week. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's awesome. So continue talking. I've got I've got this I want to share, but um yeah. So we are just young guys who are men of action, and I don't want to be a hypocrite because I I've like just 
in the last week have made some astronomical mistakes. I make them all the time. Um, the difference is I just want to grow from them. I appreciate each and every one of them. But we want to keep growing. We got a, a, an amazing entrepreneur, an amazing salesman, uh, which is out of my realm. There's my AC kicking on. I'm glad that's working. That's good. That's Thank another God. blessing right there. Yeah. yeah. You know? For you. Yeah, in southeast <laughs> Louisiana, you're going to need that. Yep. Um, Facts. And uh, we want to we, we put our minds together with a book club we're doing. Uh, we each have our own lines of work, our own businesses we're starting. And we're like, you know what? Let's partner on this Dharma thing, and let's let's bring it to other people who might want to watch it. We might get five, five whole viewers, and I guarantee you two of them are going to be my mom. And um, Different devices? Probably. <laughs> my dad uh, might be another. big screen TV. No, nah, let's, let's shoot for the stars. I'm thinking like 15, you know. Two might be my mom. Three might be my dad when he's on the ship with a you know, a couple of guys, but like, yo, no, check out my, no, my no, goober no, the rest son. might be from us. <laughs> no shot. Big, wa- big, yeah, watch this. Is little, <laughs> but no, what, uh, what I wanted to share is, so Skip works out on the boat majority of the time. And I was, I kind of like kept to myself, like launched Dharma kind of quietly. Didn't tell anybody about it except for like, I think I told Danny about it a little bit at the very beginning, but it was all still like hush, hush. Like, let me just like do me for a second. So I launched it on my social media platforms. And one of the first texts I got was from Skip. And oh he, man, he's yeah. on he's on a boat, probably on like his grandma's Wi-Fi equivalent. Oh, it dude, pro- no, it, it is like two hamsters in a box, <laughs> <laughs> grinding a wheel just to generate a little spark to make the router work. It's yeah. awful. I bet. So Fair he enough. said three three different texts in a row. He goes, "Bro, I told you in all caps. Knew you were gonna do some awesome shit. I'm pumped for you and can't wait to hear all about the new line when I get back." Mm. Dude, I, was like, I told you before I left though. I was like, "Dude, you're gonna be." Uh, there's, there's, uh, I think three different. Actually, no. There's two. I can think. Of, you're one of them. There's another person, a friend of mine. Um, we actually talked to her about Dharma today. Um, Blakely, you're gonna watch this later. So shout out to you as well. Uh, but you and Blakely, I, I told specifically, dude, I, you're gonna blow up. And I told you because after we did a YouTube video together, I said, dude, you're gonna blow up one day. Like I don't know what I didn't know. I didn't know you very well. I knew you for like. Two months at the time. No, at that time, from that, that YouTube video we filmed, you knew me for like two weeks, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like that fast. Oh, wow. Like so we, this happened quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. It's the quickest relationship I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but no, nah, dude, I, I, told, I told Wyatt, like, dude, I know you're going to blow up. And then I saw him launch that line. I was like, oh, my God, dude, I... That it. happened fast. Yeah, it's like it's, it didn't even like blow, it's like not even blowing up. Like it's nothing yet, but no manifesting, right? Yeah. And so like it, it's uh, gonna be a very long road, and that's why I have y'all here with me because I told y'all whenever I brought up the idea, it's like I could do this on my own. But why? But why? You got your boy. I want to share the wealth. Whenever this does happen, I need I need brains next to me. This is the ultimate meme of what girls are doing when they're not answering their phone versus what guys do when they're not answering their phones. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a stupid yeah. podcast. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's true. Wow. But yeah, manifesting is good. They have a saying in business: Would you rather one hundred percent of a grape, or thirty percent of a watermelon? And when you really understand just that, a lot of the times, with by actually multiplying your efforts, the Bible says that many hands make light work. When you really understand that, and you understand if you have to do a certain task to do, not only to do it with your friends, which is just a huge blessing, but is to to do something that some people would call work but to do it as fun with with some some other daddies is uh, a special <laughs> opportunity so it's fun and, and and kudos to you man it's honestly like I, uh, there's another saying i'm gonna drop little nuggets here and there uh but if it's if it was easy this everybody would do it literally if it was easy everybody <laughs> would do it and the simplicity of that we've all heard that before but it's like this guy in one week decided to say oh that little idea, that little seed in my head, he planted it in a garden, was able to at least surround it with the right soil and water it to give it the the true opportunity to, to grow. And uh, I think it's a special kind of atmosphere. Not only do we have here, but I mean, if you look at the setting, if you could see what we see right now, it's better than just a fireplace Good old and three daddies down there. together. Yeah. yeah, so we got Skip's boat down here. So he lives. It's a nice uh, little boat. Oh, honestly. Yeah, it's special. It's a, Little, little condo here. We got the the river behind us flowing. You know, this is this Bless is our, our hangout. Thank this you. is where we have our little business meetings. This is kind of where the boys get together and we just talk about business. Um, yeah, we do mess around from here and there. And, you know, got to have fun because it's all about balance. But I mean, this is the spot. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can meet your, uh, as long as your lifestyle 
you have a, a good chunk of discipline in there. Like we can, like the past weekend, went out in the boat, came back, we hit a little BP up. You got your ass handed to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, humble, humble. Well, I I did really good for a while, and then uh, Jason destroyed everyone. But like, you didn't see me quit. No, nah, no, you don't I quit. Said, I said re rack them. Yeah, I, I ain't going to bed until I win one game. <laughs> did you win? I think some girls hopped on the table, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I might have had a close game. out. <laughs> Ball drop. Yeah, just yeah. flick all the cubs. But aside from BP and all that, I mean, yeah, we do. We do our fair share of partying here and there. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, um, we don't want to. We don't want to sell the image of us being these super successful young men who have come here to tell their secrets of salesmanship no. and our industry. And no, we don't want to do that. I mean, we're, we're still young guys. Dude, like, wait, like, and what's so crazy about this podcast is like. People listen to podcasts from like Joe Rogan and Jocko Willink and all these like oh, people who are already Jocko. so so successful in everything they do and they're already millionaires and stuff like that. So people want to listen to them, but it's like no, the value we're going to bring to y'all through talking about our business is this is literally it's Dharma Daddies for a reason. Like, do this, we hope you do it too? Yeah, like this is this is our business. This is our babies, and y'all are going to watch us grow it. We're Wyatt talk about will it. show you how to do it. By the way, yeah, I'm going to show you how to build a, the best clothing brand in the industry, the best between. The apparel, Dharmacy supplements, Dharmacy gym. We have so. So did you say Dharmacy? Like Dharm- pharmacy. Like pharmacy, but Dharmacy. dharmacy. The Dharma wow. daddies are doing a Dharmacy, and we're not gonna sell you stuff that's too low dose to where you need more and more. You're gonna OD. We want. You. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I. This is coming from the guy who shotguns a bang before we're lifting weight. <laughs> he did that today, dude. I was <laughs> like, hey. It is. We can drop like, the, uh, the video. I'm going to just dry scoop there. mine. Well, yeah, I ran out of pre-workout, so I was like, oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> dude has, like, two cases of bang in his pantry. But, yeah, like, this is, this is like, to be our baby. So instead of, like, us already making it and, like, telling you oh, how successful we are and how to have his business-ass mind and stuff like that, no, it would be like, hey, this week we fucked up. We... We made a bad oh financial God. decision, and this didn't go our way. But next week, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. The bounce back. And we're going we're gonna to tell you how we did it. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah. But. We should put the mic up to your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll get a stand for next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I do want to show you all something real quick. And so, what? I guess what would your, be your biggest lesson about being like truly intentional like what what flipped the switch for you a few weeks ago a month ago that made you be like you know what let me uh let me be intentional if i say something i'm gonna do it um there was a couple of things actually like i read the book uh, seven spiritual laws highly recommend you read it that spoke volumes to me and then i forgot who it was but they recommend me read the book 10x by grant cardone and i was, was it you yeah, yeah yeah so i was like right i'm gonna read 10x like let's let's see what it's about and it's like literally whatever you're doing right now, multiply by 10 and see what happens. So 10 times your actions, 10 times your thoughts, 10 times everything you do and like see what happens. So that was definitely one of them. And then thanks to you on your social media platform, you posted a video of you talking and you were like, people ask me like why I'm so crazy and why I like make all these moves and do all these things. Oh, I love this, by the way. Yeah. And so he was like, uh, It's like, because I don't want to turn 35, was it 35? I don't want to turn 35 years old and look back and be like, wow, I really did just waste the last 10, 15 years of my life. Bullshit, when I could have built a business over 10 years, and you could, by 35, you could be a multimillionaire, but no, you decided to, um, I mean, we drank a lot, a little bit, but but like, you you decided to fuck around for your entire life. It's just life with, it's like, I hang out with one of these guys are the so I don't know if the camera can see the the, the people the who, big ass mansions yeah well wow. uh, the locals who are gonna watch this are gonna know right. exactly what we're talking about behind us here in the downtown Riverfront Madisonville there's a there's a doctor that lives over there that I befriended last summer during COVID and he had a bunch of live musical parties at his house to, to get around the loopholes and everything I won't mention names and anything like that just in case I mean the mandate's up here anyways but. I mean, he was so generous and so giving freely to people and wanted to see people happy. And uh, he followed every guideline he had to. I mean, he did everything by the book. It was amazing. But he wanted to circumvent um, people feeling sorry for themselves, and he did that. And I can do that by 35. I can do it by 30 if I want to, if I really want to do it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I sit out here, and I'll have a scotch in the evening, and I'll contemplate my day and everything. I'll, I'll sit there and I'll look at that. And I'll be like, damn, like, 
that's literally that's only like two football fields away. <laughs> literally, <laughs> <laughs> you could. Yeah. I mean, yeah, your your goals are right. two your goals are two football fields away. I know, and, and if you take that same approach to your mentality, like when I started uh, MD Marine last year, it's like, oh man, I can do so much more already, and then. Then I get this place here, and it's starting to fall online after manifesting it for so long. I've been doing everything, these books that we've been reading and talking about, in little baby chunks, not realizing it. And once you realize it and you apply it, oh, man, you'll be eons, eons further than where you are right now in a week. It's amazing. Yeah. Sorry. It's a, a simple law. I don't think it's in the book, but the I, th- I would apply it to you, and I think you're really smart whether you realize this or not in terms of what I'm about to say is the law of proximity. Like, mm. if that's a word, like, that's just, that's what's, the eighth law. Yeah, what's the, the eighth law? The law of proximity. Okay. So what being it? in proximity, like, you're in, we're in proximity of each other, meaning we're very close to each other. If you just, and there's a, there's a law in this, if you just hang around, everyone knows, you hang around five clowns, you're going to be the sixth. You hang around five thugs, you'll be the sixth. You hang around five Two. successful people, you'll likely be the sixth. And so what do you think? If he's going to be, what, on water, which he loves. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this for any sort of vanity. It was a very unique blessing I was afforded and able to get in here. Exactly. But what got me in here was a good friend of mine who was very successful and also lives in here, does the same kind of thing with the boat, and I'm always fishing or out in the boat and doing stuff when I'm home. And I saw the kind of people that – so the kind of people that live here, this is a vacation home, a weekend getaway for them. For me, this is like my only place because I ain't ain't balling yet. I'm a baller on a budget right now. (laughs) (laughs) But being surrounded by these people as neighbors, it just boosts your mentality. And if you surround yourself with those kind of people – because if you're doing the same thing, if you're going out and hamming every night or every weekend, you're living for that, you know, oh, man, I got a a hundred bucks in tips. I'm going to go – open a tab and get rowdy you know if you do that all the time you know you're not going to meet anybody new you're going to sit there and waste away in the same circle and you're going to settle for the cul-de-sac thing and do everything everyone else does and i don't want to do that and that hundred bucks like what danny would do is throw it into crypto <laughs> yeah you got better there's better like buy yeah. the dip <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally look at how much you make and how much money you bullshit away with oh. No, no. I, I am a very bad culprit. I don't, like, buy stupid things. I don't buy Supreme. I don't buy all this stupid stuff. I'm literally in my dad's T-shirt from the New Orleans Voodoo. It says 2004 on my T-shirt. Dude, we're not even this... wearing Dharma. In the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was, hey, Dharma like, will be featured next episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll be yeah. in uniform next time. It's real, yeah. by the way. But no, the law of proximity, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I just feel it. I mean, like, because, I mean, think about it. Like, I mean, you've got close to the things that you... Or a desired yeah. to I've been be saying around. it since I was about five years old what I'm going to do. And I'm at the point now Man, where I've, I've done everything I said I was going to do all through high school and through college. And I'm doing it now. I'm on the, I'm on the next phase. You know, that five-year plan they teach you about in high school that no one right. listens to? It's so real. And yeah. I affirmed it, visualized it, meditated on it, prayed which Earl Nightingale, by the way, in the Polling Hill. Wait, please tell me. Tell I love the line about success. Because I had, like, a downtime the other night here with you. And, like, I was like, oh, I don't know about all this. Like, I'm, I'm scared. And you said a quote oh, about we success went- from Earl Nightingale. You said you are oh. successful. Oh, yeah. So, that one. so we'll go ahead and talk oh, about whatever it, you – That quote? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, – there's a, a thing. We can post a link to this YouTube video. It's Earl Nightingale. and he's, It's, like, a 30-minute video, and he's talking – yeah, I'll post it in the description. Yeah. He, um, what he said is, the man who is successful is that man who is doing what he set out to do. So, you could, you could be a salesman making like, making bank. You can make like two, three hundred thousand a year, let's say, selling whatever you're selling, right? But you could hate your life. Oh my God. And the wife snagging and, oh, I got to do this and this and, oh, God, this isn't what I want. Oh, I could have done this. You could be that guy or you could be the the school teacher who her whole life wanted to devote time to students and teach and have a classroom of her own. And who's doing that at like half the age of so successful salesman, right? Mm -hmm. She's she's infinitely more successful than the guy who's making good money but not doing what he wants to do yeah because he finds purpose in our work even if she's making i don't know how much school teachers get paid i know it's not a lot they definitely need to get paid more no, I don't know. definitely underpaid however she's doing what she set out to do she exactly. said hey i want to be a school teacher and by that she might not be financially free however she's successful my ambition made me so anxious and this is like this is last year right before i founded 
MD Marine, um, dude, I was, it made me anxious and nervous and I was so stressed out. Like, how the hell am I going to do all this? And I am here now. But my dad's like, dude, you are exactly where you need to be, where you, that you are where exactly you need to be at this moment in time. So take peace in that. God tells you the same thing biblically. Um, and honestly, when Christ taught his disciples how to pray, he, he taught them affirmation. It's the same thing. Okay, He's just re- talking to someone about it. Repeat what you just said again. Which part? The, not about the God stuff, but it's like a very pivotal thing to say. Oh, yes. But what, your, pe- dad, finding what, your, peace? what your dad said. You are. And when I was at, I went to a, uh, a military school, and it, it sucked. I hate, <laughs> like, I wanted to be there because it it's, it's an awful place to be, great place to be from. Uh, any King's Pointers that watch this, thanks, by the way. Um, it's an awful place to be, great place to be from. But you are, and I almost failed out my first year. It was tough, dude. I'm not smart. I might look. Uh, I, I don't look smart. Actually. <laughs> I'm a big tattooed doofus, dude. I'm so smart. <laughs> I don't look smart. I might sound it every now and then. But uh, most of. But you people, got hustle. Yeah, I can outwork my stupid. Wait, wait, y'all know the saying. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Yeah. Also, hard work is free. Talent's a gift. It's a God-given gift. And there's a lot of talented people out there doing talented people things. I was naturally good at boats just because I've been around it my whole life. But outside of that, now I had to outwork my stupid. I almost failed out, man. My first and second year, really. Um, but he said, you are exactly where you need to be at this moment in time. So one, you, you thank God for that. Because that's a big blessing. And that peace and that reassurance and knowing, okay, I'm here. I need to be here. I chose to be here. I'm here anyways. I'm exactly where I need to be in this moment in time. When you were depressed before you founded Dharma, you were exactly where you needed to be to create that drive. Honestly, that's fire. And thank you for slowing down and, like, thinking about that. Because, uh, like, I'll be honest with y'all listening. It's like, that hits me every day. And then that just slapped me like an 18-wheeler. Because oftentimes, uh, like why I was mentioning earlier, we say that thing, this happened to me today, this happened to me today. Instead, we should be thinking this happened for me, etc. So, I mean, personally, I mean, I, I, I've struggled with that in the past. It's like, to be like, oh, well, dude, this wasn't supposed to happen. I had a plan for this, this, and this to happen. And then to slow, uh, the, the Bible verse is be still and know that I am God. Oh. And it's basically just like, hey, like, yo, 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 you real quick. You're exactly where you need to be at the right time. So just like just comprehend it, because what are you going to do? Compliment yourself about it with this, an affirmation or complain about it, which is just a complaint and disrespect yourself. Yeah. I mean, like you're here in the moment at the right time. You're either here to learn or maybe, hey, like like they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So, I mean, ultimately, we could hear all these things. And until it registers with you, you, you or you, it's ultimately going to stay there. I've met some great mentors just sitting there. One of them, one of the biggest mentors, I was at the, a local gym called Stone Creek. It's like a health club thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was sitting there. It's like I had a couple books and some notepads and stuff, and I was just trying to figure something out. And he comes over. He's like, "Hey, man, you saw my you saw my dumb tattoos." He's like, "Oh, are you like in the Navy or something?" I was like, "Oh, kind of, not really, whatever." And uh, he's like, "Oh, cool. What are you doing? What are you about?" And I was like, "Well, I want to do this." I was like, "Oh, that's really cool. Let's have lunch. My treat. Come on." I'm like, "Okay." And he's, he's very uh, involved in politics and everything. And like you said, when the student is ready, which, by the way, involves humbling yourself a lot. I've been called arrogant a lot for having such high standards. We don't know at all. <laughs> we do not know at all. <laughs> I, I, like, we like to think we know it all. We don't. And no. So your teacher appeared at the right time. You need to understand. But exactly. And the thing is, when you set your standards for yourself really high, people don't understand that you're also lowering yourself really lowering yourself i mean you put your bar up here you just made yourself like three feet lower and you humble yourself Mm -hmm. knowing how far you are from your goal and now you now you get that drive to go and get it and that's what this mentor taught me he's like no no no, you don't know half the shit you think you do but your head's in the right place yeah so is your heart so let's 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 work with this sorry anyways yeah so piggybacking off of that (laughs) (laughs) so um danny uh he says this a lot he's always like 
hey, like, whenever, like, you're ready to go all in or whatever, when you ever, like, dive deep into business and trying to do stuff for you, you're like, tell your friends and family, hey, I'm about to get really weird. You have like, to. Like, like, I'm about to, like, be crazy. It actually happened to me the other day. My dad literally asked me, it was, like, Monday through Friday. I don't think I was acting any different, but, like, I must have been acting weird or something. I'm not super sure. Your vibes were off. My vibe, my vibes were off. I'm like mm. so deeply invested in the things I want to do, and so I cut people off. I push people away, and I mean, I, y'all, y'all know what happened. I push someone away, and I bettered my life and stuff like that. And uh, my dad, <laughs> don't I know? <laughs> and my dad asked me. He was like, "Son, are you you doing okay?" I'm like, "I'm like, yeah, Dad. Like, I'm doing good." He was like, "Oh, you just been, you know, kind of standoffish. You've been different. You've been you've been different." My dad, honestly, I'm just on a different grind you've never seen before. Like, like I, I, I was known in high school as having, like, the strongest work ethic. Like, I was a dude who, like, I was, like, I didn't start. I like to say I started varsity. I was, like, I made varsity, and I was, like, a backup to Cole Freeman, who played at LSU, and now plays in the majors or the minors, wherever he's at now. But I was, like, a pinch runner. I, after, after practice, after games, I was the one at the gym when no one else was there. I was working out and stuff like that. I've always been the hardest worker in the room. And oh, so yeah. it's, like, now that I have this – I have something to work hard for again. Mm. And so that, that grit and that grimy stuff that comes out of you when that stuff happens, it's weird. It's crazy. It's like uh, lactic acid after a hard workout. It's not pretty when it <laughs> reveals itself. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I love the analogy between, and, and I think a lot of men and women will benefit from this, but I, I love the analogy, and I always say it whenever I'm teaching business or sales is, is talking about business and fitness and how like like business is a lot of business is commission only and then a lot of fitness is commission only i mean like you can't go to the gym today and then want results tomorrow in terms of like you get you get the work that you pay into every single day and so i think it's important to kind of understand that like like there's a like especially i mean i love door knocking i think it'll put some hair on the balls and really teach <laughs> teach you like what you're Put made some of. Put on your peaches. Um, but yep. and, and and I mean just just reality is I mean like there are days where I've been out in Sacramento. I, I don't know if you guys have been 115, 120 degrees. Dry, it's dry heat, dry heat, dry heat. Dry heat. Yeah. <laughs> don't care. And ain't no Louisiana heat. But 115 <laughs> degrees, and I'm door knocking and slacks and a black polo. And uh, work for eight, nine, ten hours, living by myself, uh, and then I would go home and, and look in the mirror and eat a donut by myself. As then I got zero sales, zero good leads or whatever. And there was months where that happened, and I realized that that's commission only. Probably because like, you're wearing a black polo, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's dress for the heat. Yeah. So what, <laughs> I'm asking for it. I don't even know if you want to share this. We can cut this out, but like, dude, you lived in your car. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's looking back on it, it was a huge lesson. Well, if they really knew where he is now, because we're not going to sit there and do the humble brag, you know, thing. That sucks. I was about to, I was about yeah. to stay oh, humble oh. for a minute, but no, but I mean, like, it, it really is tough. I mean, where, I didn't know that. I just learned that he was um, moving out of a car. And just to know, because I, again, I haven't known him much longer than I've known Wyatt. I actually know, knew a little less, met you through Wyatt, but. Knowing that you were living in your car to where you are now, grimy, dude. Yeah, I got. I drove the car here. It's a Jeep. Speaking <laughs> of grimy, do we? I shotgunned a, an energy drink. We hopped in my truck, which is not an impressive truck or anything like that. It's beautiful. It's she's a good old girl. Yeah. Um, a little little lift on it. We hopped in my single cab truck and blasted Creed on the way to the gym. So that will get you going. Grimy. <laughs> uh-huh. Dude, whenever we retire and have our fortunes and our success, I will still have a single cab truck that I will play Creed in. And drink on the way the to same. the gym. We mm-hmm. literally, we were talking about it on the way to the gym. We're like, dude, who else do we know? That dude, drives- if this was the 90s, we'd pull gaggles ass. <laughs> we're, like, like, we're like, dude, who else do we know that still rides in a single cab lifted truck? And plays Creed on the way to the gym. <laughs> One you know, of the captains it's, on, it's, on my ship would. It's a rare. Thing. It's usually some Short kid in their mom's Camaro bumping a little Uzi Vert to the club and spa. I feel like I haven't play heard tennis. little yeah. Uzi uh, vertical in uh, years. 
Feels like decades. Is that what the vert stands for? Or I don't you know. Just made that up? I would think vertical. Vert- vertical. Never thought of that. I don't know. Why isn't he getting high? Vertical. Up okay. And down. Okay. Now that works. You're you're on to something. Whoever's here. tuning in, please feel to slap. Feel free to slap me or something. No, f- feel free to drop a comment. Let us know what you think about <laughs> that one. <laughs> Is it Lil Uzi vertical? I can't wait for my all my other friends across the globe now to see I haven't changed and actually got retarded or. So just Is that a word? It is now. So not to like wrap it up too fast, but I mean, what are y'all's thoughts on, I mean, y'all are Dharma daddies now. We, yeah. we manifested actually this morning. We all hopped on a Zoom call and we're like, hey, like, let's, let's start doing this. Yeah. Let's get right. the website going. You know, we got a timeline. Like, and one big thing I think is amazing. There's a, I told you a couple of things I think are admirable about you with your business mind and everything. Because that's kind of outside my realm as far as how I operate. But, um... I, I was already awake doing my own thing. I wasn't. I, my, I was missing your text, and I saw. Oh, here's a group chat, and here's everything for a website we're building. And within within an hour, this guy has a roadmap typed out for the website. And I'm like, oh my god! Like, I just got a kick in the dick because dude, machine. <laughs> like we, we like Danny's a, a machine. I'm trying to develop into a machine. I think you're a machine, dude. We're this guy's closing leads on the other side of the country, and he's like, oh yeah, let me type this up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Real quick. Yeah, yeah it's, it's wicked. But, but yeah, y'all's, y'all's vision, I mean, I, I brought y'all in because I think, um, I mean, y'all are both super into the gym and stuff like that. Y'all both bring um, business minds, hustle, grind, grit. We complement each other. Yeah, so for sure. But it's like, what 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 do you see in it? What do you aspire to see? What what kind of vision do y'all have towards Dharma, dharma Dharma Daddies, et cetera, et cetera? Um, one, Dharma Daddies is just going to be we're going to bring content that's, uh, I, I hesitate to say educational because we aren't much of anything ourselves yet. There's a lot of other podcasts, a lot of people who have done real things and have a lot, have decades more of experience in us. Look at Joe Rogan, Jocko Wilnick, Seth Ferrosi. Um, shit, even guys our age like David Lay, he's been doing the YouTube grind for a while now. He's got years on us. But I think we still have a unique mindset with our clothing brand and our the humor we have between each other. And I would like to see Dharma Daddies be kind of a humorous but motivational um, podcast for people to listen to. Not only to decompress after the day or kind of laugh about a couple of things, but maybe there's a couple nuggets, like like Danny likes to say, that will drop there. And that it might make their day better. It might improve a life with our eventual gym we want to launch. Um, with Dharma, the Dharma gym, the Dharma C store in there and everything. I want to improve some lives. I want to make people happy. And one of my favorite things is to make people laugh. It's why it's learned. It's, um, I love making people laugh. It's so that's, much fun. That's my bread and butter, dude. I love cracking jokes. Oh, I like yeah. bad pickup lines. They're I fun like, together, I gotta I like, admit. I like dad jokes. Me, me and Skip get along like really well. It's like uh, peas and carrots. Like, it's probably good that they chaperone us in Destin because we do some stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad y'all. I mean, y'all didn't stop us from being drunk and driving a Whataburger at 4 a.m. But we did not drive drunk. We did not drive drunk. Well, I didn't drive drunk. You were you were a little you were a little farther along than I was. I had some stealth water, but I was co-pilot. Who <laughs> got us there? Awful co-pilot. The worst. <laughs> oh, no, 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 take a left here. <laughs> oh, thanks. That was an intersection to go. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. I mean, yeah. Oops. <laughs> so yeah. So what do you see in like Dharma Daddy's podcast? Like what is? So I mean, it's a stupid name. Like it's crazy. Like, coming look at from it objectively, me, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Like but people I think, would be like Dharma Daddy's. That is so stupid. I mean, like, look what? at Call Her Daddy. Yeah. He's, we're, that, that's a that's a Barstool bought that podcast but that is, out. That is so smart. Call Her Daddy. Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna see well, that. Like, and not click. On not it. that we're not wanting to take the daddy part from that name or anything, but. I think Dharma Daddies is a little edgy. I think it uh, makes people like, what the hell? Like, Dharma Daddy? What is are this, some Hindu? Dad? Are these people dads? We are not dads. As far as we know. Thank God. Whew, man. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dharma Daddies. Abstinence. Anyways. <laughs> so, Dharma. So, what, what, did, what do you see out of Dharma? I mean, like, uh, other than... Obviously, the glorious vision. I mean, like, where do you see the roadmap of Dharma in the next 90 days? Live for the television. Okay, 90 days. Um, we're going to have a website up. We're going to have mm. the first drop. I said June 5th uh, previously. 
Um, it's not going to be perfect by June fifth, so I don't want anything shy of perfection mm. going out to people that are buying my things. And so you've already put product out there, right? People have bought stuff already. Right? Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got things that I. Thought. It's possible to buy stuff right now. Okay, he's he's got clothing. If you hit me up, I'll I'll get it made for you. If you want to support the brand, that would mean the world to me. If you want if you want it, I'll make sure it gets to you. However, high quality, by the way, better than Lululemon. Yeah, so my no, seriously, it's 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 nice. To, I was impressed. I didn't doubt you. I was still a little concerned. I was like, "Where was, are we getting this?" Like, I was interested. Work? I was so impressed. I was like, <laughs> "I was very." You, no. you brought a shirt over like uh, oh, two weeks ago now. Yeah, and it did it fit like it does. It, it's not the man canceling t shirt. I don't know about chicks, dudes. You'll get a nice shirt, like an Under Armour shirt, but it, like it hugs like the little bit of chunk you still got from the winter because it's supposed to be fitted. And it's not, it's too fitted. It's man canceling kind of fitted. <laughs> so it's like, it's like too high on the arm and like a little loose. So you don't look buff, but it hugs the gut. And you're like, oh my God, this one was perfect, man. Yeah, those, those came out pretty good. I like those. Um, I'm very impressed with the women's, women's clothes. I think a lot of the girls like it. Dude, the leggings are phenomenal. Like I wish I could fit in them. I can't. However, like all the, all the girls say the leggings are great. Um, the sets are really good. Um, crop top material was fantastic. And dude, these oversized tees, um, they should be in about two, three weeks, hopefully. Dude, money. gotta get one. Money. What color are you getting? T shirt? Yeah. The three. oversized tee. All three. Ooh, yeah, probably all three. It's the only way to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. We you get, get a yeah. discount if you get all three? Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all probably get free shirts since y'all are Dharma Daddies. Mm, well, uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I'll support. We'll talk numbers. Y'all can order the next round. Except some tips. <laughs> yeah. Y'all order the next round of product. But yeah, so like master that, uh, master different social media platforms, starting this podcast. Um, just trying to take um, as much as I can from every single avenue that I can use to build a business, start throwing some ads out there. So I mean, short term, like that's the goal. Long term, I already said it, like have the best clothing line in the industry. Um, I hate to say it, like I know I know you're like, why don't you have Lululemon prices? It's like because like I want I want everybody to be afford afford my product. Businessman. You want yeah, people to buy the we want we want people to buy Dharma because it's it's motivating. It's it's gonna be a piece of you. Not for the profit, for the purpose. Like oh. Lulu, like no offense, Lululemon, your product is so expensive. I don't even know what like Lululemon stands no, for. No, because people are too concerned with buying clout. That's why they don't save money. Exactly. It's if like, you buy an affordable, yeah, shirt, I really don't know what Lulu means. Something. You know what? And why do they? Why? Why? why I only know it because I've seen women wear their leggings and rave about them. I don't wear leggings except on Tuesday nights. <laughs> But, uh, no, but it's, it's like it's like really there's all these brands out there that are over the only brand like fitness brand I can think of that actually has a message would be like Alpha Lee, which is like learn more, dream more, be more, whatever. And that's great. It is. No, it's it's perfect. So like Dharma, the law of Dharma is literally find your purpose. Like you're on this earth for a reason. When you wear my clothing, you should be thinking, what is my purpose? And so that's the goal with that. But I mean, between the clothing line, gonna master that. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna be better than everybody else. I'm gonna have the best prices. People are gonna be buying my shit like crazy. I'm manifesting it now because I know it's gonna happen. Imagine nice. how affordable things would be if a lot of business owners and uh, corporations just by a couple percent lowered their profit margins. Just a little bit. Just imagine. Mm. I guess everybody's gotta get paid though. Hey, is it true if somebody spends more than $150, they literally get a signed copy? of the seven spiritual laws of success is it true i will do that wait by if, by wyatt so yeah, I, will, no, yeah. I will i will literally bulk order i'll talk to deepak chopra the author uh, that's my boy no he's tight yeah i'll, I'll call him up and be like hey man i need a thousand my friend i need two million copies i've i've this. traveled by donkey all the way to see you <laughs> basically you bought all my books <laughs> <laughs> every last one <laughs> yes yeah. no dude i will literally like I love to do all that. Not even just like I don't even want to sign it. I just want to like put a little message in it. Yeah, but because like, I don't, sign I don't, it. I don't want my autograph on shit. Like I'm, I'm not yeah. in it for like the cloud or the fame. But or eventually, shit like that. honestly, people will respect what you've done long term. So give yourself the respect now. I mean, you're not like, oh yeah, this is worth money. I but, would, like sign it because you know that in 20 and, and years. Same thing with the podcast. You, if it blew up and we got a, a metric ass load of views, that'd be great. I'd be super stoked about it. But if I was walking so like let's say we take another trip to Destin right and there's people out there like that dude we met Tucker mm -hmm. Tucker hey Tucker <laughs> Tucker what's up man hopefully uh, the beach is treating you well um, we got I got his number I'll send him a link to this video yeah, <laughs> <I do. laughs> and uh, if we're walking somewhere 
And like, oh, Dharma Daddy's like, dude, I got the sticker. Or like, dude, you made us laugh our ass off. Dude, or like, we helped someone out of a rut. Like, dude, that would mean more than. Dude, it beats Aww. any type of like, yeah, being rich is cool. But it's like, if I could, like, I gotta, I'd rather touch the lives of a million people than have a million dollars. I got a buddy on the ship. So I got, like, I got into lifting. And he's starting to do it when he's home by himself now. And he comes back. He's like, oh, dude, here's my new PRs. And, like, thank you so much for getting me. Dude, that was the best feeling ever. Dude, it's like, so money should be a byproduct of the people you help. Yeah. So money money comes. If I can, if I can help a million people, more than likely oh, I'll yeah, make absolutely. a million bucks. Yeah. Which is a byproduct of me trying to help it. So through this brand, I want to help people. So, I mean, I'm going to have Dharma clothing, which I'm going to master. I'm going to have Dhar- Dharma C supplements, mm. which is going to be, like, proteins, pre-workouts, vitamins, all that good stuff. And then, like, Dharma Gym, Dharma C Gym, whatever you want to name it, Dharma Daddy's Podcast. It's all going to be so many things. My plate's going to be full for so long because there's so many things I want to do. But what I really want to do is just manifest something through this podcast right now, which is one day I'm going to be in seminars with kids that are our age now, five, ten years from now. On the drive here, I told you my counselor had asked me, and if she watches this, I'm sorry, I haven't set it up yet. I'm going to. I'm busy. I promise. Super, I swear by the law of Dharma um, to go speak at high school. And if I do that, you come with me, obviously. And um, but like you're saying, like, dude, if we could get in a seminar full of young people, our age, older than us, whatever, and and motivate them to go out there and chase their dreams, or get, just simply get out of a rut. Let's say they really like their job, but they're depressed for some reason. Just to get them out of the rut. Get them running at zero six in the morning. Get them, get give, them, give them a kick in the ass. But like a loving That's one. That's what a lot of kids need this oh, day. Bro. Dude, nobody's Damn. got it, dude. Gee, that's a whole other See, topic, bro. So when your dad asked you, hey, what's wrong going on with you, buddy? That is that is the silver spoon to grow up with nowadays. There's so many. And I've, I've talked with them recently. I've, ta- I've made a big point about this. It's like you don't want a complicated relationship with your kid or some kind of mess, you know, going back and forth between mom and dad or whatever. And that happens a lot nowadays. The silver spoon I grew up with is that I, we didn't come for money at all. My dad's made himself a very successful man, and he's, if not the biggest motivation for me and my ambition. But they cared about everything. Every little detail. like hey, you, Attention to detail. Oh, yeah. My dad, he was military. And uh, then he went to the maritime industri- industry. Um, but yeah, he was super attentive to detail, but the way he loved me and my mom loves still. And, um, I got to hit my parents with a squirt bottle. If they get too close, man, they're, they're mm-hmm. like kids. It's a beautiful thing to see. And that's the silver spoon that a lot of people don't grow up with anymore. That love from their parents, that unconditional, just poured on love, biblical standard of love. A lot of kids don't get that. And they don't get like my dad, you know, he kicked my ass so many times about so much stuff, which is why I'm here today. Thank God. And thank Dad. Now you're being a Dharma Daddy. Now I am a Dharma Daddy. Yes, yeah, so before before the laptop dies, we got about 5% because Skip, <laughs> Skip said I didn't need a, a charger plugged in. He's like, oh, you're at 50%. You're good. We're at 5%. So, Danny, real quick, go ahead and your vision for Dharma, Dharma C, your involvement, and then uh, we'll wrap it up from there, man. Sure, man. Well, uh, a good friend and a, a previous business, business partner of mine told me – uh, he helped me kind of find my vision in life, and I think it it aligns with both of y'all's. Uh, but one of the one of the main visions is, and my specific vision is, my success is not measured by the by the by the actual amount of money I've made, but by the lives that I've enriched. And I'll say that one more time: is my success is not measured based on the money I've made, comma, but by the lives that I've enriched. And so truly just I get a lot more passion uh, out of connecting with people that are not only like minded, but the people that have the same goals and the same ambitions to do something different and bigger in life. And it's uh, it's powerful when you find your dharma, when you find your purpose, uh, there's something serious here because it's uh, I guarantee you when the student is ready, the teacher will appear in terms of your purpose. Because if you look for it, and if you try and find the perfect girlfriend or the perfect boyfriend, I can promise you that it'll run away from you. And then when you find your purpose, when you find the thing, you're going to have no idea what's going on, and you're going to be scared. You're going to live on uncertainty. But that's literally where you find your purpose, and that difference 
uh, searching for that difference and w without letting it race to you is going to help you find it in your 20s and your 30s and or more importantly just when when the soonest possible because like i've said before one of my biggest fears in life is to wake up approaching 40 or 30 or uh, 35 mm. and to sit there <laughs> look in the mirror we've all seen the movies where you look left you look right and then you look in the mirror and you think to yourself you said is this me is this this is who i'm becoming yes this is Ugh. like literally like this is who I am, and then your your mind is either, damn boy you fucked up excuse my French or, your mind will instead of taking accountability you'll look the other direction and you'll say damn, well you know if it wasn't for Bob and Karen who messed mentality. up your job and that mm. happened to you and your dad left your mom and this and that and if it wasn't for all these circumstances yeah. dude you'd be a boss man so that other guy that's winning he must have just be lucky or got it easy instead of understanding the law of dharma yeah, if you understand your mistakes and you finding, take ownership of them you uh finding your punk purpose hunkering down you know yeah. digging your feet in deep and start sparring there yeah if that's it was easy idea. everybody would be single skinny and happy or actually married yeah <laughs> sorry that was a backwards one. But, yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, it would be married, happy, and healthy is the saying. And, like, what it really boils down to is just understanding that it's not easy to find your purpose. But when you do, if you can take that little bitty flame and just pour some gasoline on it. And mm. then you have friends that are willing to fan the fire. Dude, dude, gasoline's your hype own. Hype you up. Gasoline's dude, your work ethic, gas. dude. Yeah, it is. Like, like dude, yeah, gasoline, is. like, put as <laughs> much of your work ethic as you can into something. That flame's going to build up. And then, like you said, I need my friends here. Freaking throw some oxygen yeah. in that thing, you know? Like, keep it, keep it burning while I'm trying to do some other things. Build another fire. Throw gas Be on it. Be prepared to burn for months without seeing anything. Oh yeah, people, mm. dude. I'm telling. I'm sorry. I know the uh, the the things ending soon, but like people don't understand. If any lesson you take away from this, outside of the lessons we've all heard, it's that this shit's gonna take time. It didn't come easy for you. You didn't just. Did you start off in the giant ships? No. Dude, it's like, work, no. like like you're working out analogy. You can't work out for one day and expect to have a six pack when you wake yeah. up the next you, day. Uh, and everybody knows that, but people try and cheat the system. Dude, I've been in this. The sales thing for two months and I don't think it's working out for me. I need to go make money, dude. And then like people are just, they just give up too quick. And so anyways, side rant, but I mean, I, I believe the value of finding your purpose is consistency. And, yeah, and then just, people give up on that pretty quickly. It's just literally like, yeah, just don't give up. Like literally you can do anything you set your mind to. And a lot of people just don't show realize up. it. It's just show up, manifest it, do the work. There's no excuse. I mean, you can make as many excuses as you want, but they're all going to be bullshit. You can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't do both. Exactly. That's a fact. Any any final words over there, Skip, before we wrap episode one up? And whatever it is you're doing right now, if you are doing what you set out to do, congratulations. That's the biggest blessing you can ask for. If you're not doing exactly what you want to do, but it's part of your plan then make sure whatever it is if you're a nurse if you're a mechanic if you if you're uh, a groundskeeper or you work landscape make sure you are the absolute best at it that you can be you driving driving a truck oh, you better be the best damn truck driver better you could possibly be truck. better drive it backwards mm. better than other people drive it forwards i mean that's your mentality right be the best be the best at it you can possibly be and then you'll be unstoppable yeah well, fellas, thanks for joining. For sure. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in to episode one of Dharma Daddies. Please hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment on the whole little Uzi Vert thing. We're, we're curious if y'all <laughs> think it's vertical as well. Feel free to make fun of me. I, want, I, I, I told Wyatt before we started, I want to get roasted. No. no, literally. No, no, no roast in here. Roast me. No, dude, it's it's all, for, dude, it's all fun. It's love, I'm, baby. I wanna, hey. like, first, first, like, lastly, I just want to say, like, thank both of y'all for being here. No, we being love you, a, buddy. Being a part of this, y'all, y'all, oh, absolutely. Love My brothers, love you to death. I think uh, we, the, the best things are yet to come. We're just manifesting everything That's true. right now. Absolutely. And so, yeah. that being Documented. Said, yep. Documented. Documented from A to Z. Mm. 
So like I said, Z. thank you all for tuning in. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, we'll see you all on episode two, maybe in a couple of days, maybe in a week. From Who knows? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll run it up again tomorrow. I got so I much I stuff I want to talk about. Yeah, I, we got to end it. Bet. A, a close me on it. <laughs> yeah, so close them. Get, around, get around some friends that make you close you on every single idea you have. It is yeah. insane. Close More to come soon. God bless y'all. All right. Take Later. care, guys. Later. Later.